everybody, it's Mr. Matt, and today we're going to talk about how plants grow. There's so much rain coming out of the sky and being soaked into the ground, and lots and lots of plants outside love that. So they're growing and growing and growing all during the spring season. Today we're going to look at our book about how a plant grows from a seed. And we're going to sing our song about how plants grow. So, hello, special care. How are you today? We just fine. Hello, everybody. How are you? It's nice to see you here today. Hello at home. How are you? It's nice to see you here today. Hello at school, how are you? It's nice to see you here today. Hello everybody everywhere, it's nice to see you here today. We're going to begin by taking three deep breaths. So let's do that first. We're going to stop or smile and take a deep breath and let it all out. Do it again. One more time. That's it. So let's begin by looking at our book. This one is called From Seed to Plant. This book is written by Gail Gibbon. And there's a lot of very interesting information in this book. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. All of those different plants in this picture make seeds. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. Look at all the different colors and all the sizes and shapes, all of those things are seeds. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. So if you plant a sunflower seed, you'll get a sunflower. And if you plant an oak tree seed, then it will grow into an oak tree. Many plants grow flowers, and flowers are where most seeds begin. The seeds grow inside the flower even as the flower begins to die. As the seeds become bigger, a fruit or pod grows around them. The fruit or pod protects the seeds. If you look closely, you can see right here, there's a whole seed pod growing out of the center of that flower. When the fruit or pod ripens, it breaks open. The seeds are ready to become new plants. Look at that. The seed pod broke open. And all of the seeds are going to go down to the ground. But there's lots of different ways they could travel to the ground. So let's look. Some seeds fall to the ground around the base of the plant where they'll grow. So you can see those fell straight down into the dirt. Some pods or fruits open as the seeds pop out. And sometimes when birds eat berries, they drop the seeds. Check that out. There are some plants that will throw the seeds out so they can be planted in the dirt. And there are some animals who will pick them up and carry them to a new spot. Other seeds fall into streams, ponds, rivers, or the ocean. And there they travel on the water until they stick to the dirt along the shore. This seed, or we would call a coconut, which is actually a seed, it fell out of the palm tree and rolled into the ocean and floated all the way down there and got planted in the dirt. The wind scatters seeds. Some seeds have fluff on them that lets them float to the ground like tiny parachutes. 
Others have wings that spin as they fall. It's been so windy. And the wind is taking our seeds all over the place right now. Animals help scatter seeds too. They hide acorns and nuts in the ground. And some seeds have hooks that stick to the fur of animals or people's clothes that later they drop onto the floor. You might get seeds stuck to you while you're playing and walking around the grass. Those seeds will fall down into the dirt and some animals will pick them up. A flower bed or vegetable garden is beautiful. Seeds are planted to grow in the gardens. The seeds come in small envelopes or boxes. Directions explain how to plant the seeds and care for them. You could make a vegetable garden or a flower garden or both. The beginning of a plant is curled up. Look inside this seed. The seed is in the dirt and it's ready to sprout. It's going to get lots of rain lots of rainwater, and it will start to grow up and up and out and out, where it can then soak up all the sunshine with its leaves. The plant will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and some of them will make flowers, like these white flowers. And almost everything you eat is grown from a seed. Look at all those foods, fruits and vegetables that come from seeds. They grew up and up and out and out, out of the ground, just like this plant did. Lots of fruits and vegetables. And if you want to, you can grow plants at home. So. We're very thankful for the rain, even though it makes everything wet and muddy, because that is exactly what we need for plants to grow. And we're thankful for the sunshine, even though it's very, very hot, and the wind, too. So here we go. We're going to go through the plant life cycle by singing these words. Let's read them together. Baby plants grow in the dirt. That's where you find a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine are really all you need. We're going to pat, pat, pat the dirt. Baby plants grow in the dirt. That's where you find a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need again. Baby plants grow in the dirt, that's where you find a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need. Look at the seeds in the dirt. Then what happens? As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small. Then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small, then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small, then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. And what happens now that that plant is all grown up? Let's see. Grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall and then traveling far or very close, ready to grow again. Look at the seeds that fell off this grown up plant. They're traveling far away to make more, or they're staying very close to make more. Grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall in then, traveling far or very close, ready to grow again. The baby plants grow in the dirt, that's where you find a seed. 
Gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small, then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. Grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall and then traveling far or very close, ready to grow again. Can you do it? I'm gonna get faster and faster. Baby plants grow in the dirt, that's where you find a seed. Gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small, then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. Grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall and then traveling far or very close, ready to grow again. The baby plants grow in the dirt, that's where you find a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small, then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. Grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall and then traveling far or very close, ready to grow again. One more time, very, very fast. Baby plants grow in the dirt, that's where you find a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start small. Up and up and out and out until it's very tall. The grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall and then traveling far or very close, ready to grow again. Did you do it? Can you do it that fast? Did you sing along with me and move your hand? You want to go faster. Really, 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 really super, super fast. All right, here we go. Try to do it with me. Ready? <gasps> Baby plants grow in the dirt, that's where you find a seed. A gentle rain and bright sunshine is really all you need. As it grows up from the ground, the plant will start out small, then up and up and out and out until it's very tall. The grown up plants are oh so strong with seeds that fall and then <gasps> traveling far or very close, ready to grow up again. <laughs> the plant life cycle just keeps going and going and going. When those seeds fall into the dirt, they get lots of rain and sunshine so they can grow up and up and out and out until that plant is ready to put its seeds back into the dirt. And that is called the life cycle of a plant. I would encourage you to also go online and have a grown-up show you some really cool pictures of plants growing up out of the dirt and spreading their leaves to soak in that sunshine and all of the rain. Bye-bye, special care. Bye-bye, Mr. Man. Have a good day today.